time for WDAM7 Sports, sponsored by Amec Farms. After Tuesday night's big win over Ole Miss, Southern Miss fell flat Thursday, falling behind to Texas State and eventually losing game one of the weekend series this afternoon. The Golden Eagles down in the hole, 0-1, needing a victory to even this series. Game two, we're going to start in the first here. Slade Wilkes, the senior, gets cooking early. The Columbia Academy graduate sends this one the other way, just barely gets over that left field fence. A two-run homer puts USM on the board, and that extends the hit streak now to 27 games. Slade Wilkes just red hot at the plate. We go to the fourth inning. Seth Smith, he's going to send this one right back up the middle, and Matthew Russo comes around to score. The Eagles now lead by three, but Texas State responds. They're going to tie things up in the fifth inning. It's a 3-3 game. Nico Mazza relieved in the seventh for Chandler Best. Two on, though. Bobcats threatening here. Sharp little grounder. Nick Monaster making the diving effort and gets it done, gets the out, and saves a run. Big play right there defensively to the eighth inning, and it's Matthew Russo gets all of this one off the Coke sign. The Bull gives USM the lead on the solo shot, and Southern Miss goes on to win 6-3. to three. Scott Kirk breaks down the victory, including another massive day for the Bunker Hill Bomber. With three hits and four RBI Friday night, Slade Wilkes' hitting streak now sits at 27 straight games. It's pretty common in baseball that streaks tend to get pretty quirky. However, the Bunker Hill Bomber says that his routines have been pretty vanilla, and it's worked out so far. Wilkes' hitting streak now sits for fourth all-time in program history. We're just trying to, you know, get my, my swing off on the, uh, the right pitches and, uh, you know, not miss pitches that I can handle. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, when I say I'm struggling or something like that, you know, I'm swinging at, uh, you know, the pitcher's pitches and not waiting on my pitches. I think that's the biggest thing. And that, that's hitting in general is, you know, waiting on a pitch that you can handle. And, I mean, I've played a lot of baseball games at this point, and, uh, you know, the game, uh, you know, over time the game sl slowed down for me. And, uh, you know, that's just when you've had a lot of bats and you're a senior, you know, it just happens. It's crazy. That, that's, a, that's a heck of a feat, uh, you know, right? That's hard to do at this level. And, uh, Man, he's been very steady. Um, I think you know we're, we're seeing that, and and rightfully so. Man, he's a great hitter. Uh, he's a great competitor. He's mature. He's old. He's been through you know everything. So uh, to see what he's doing is uh, not surprising to us to know him, and uh, very proud of him. Tomorrow's regular season finale is also Senior Day for Southern Miss, which brings a pretty unique opportunity for Slade, a chance to increase that hitting streak on Senior Day. First pitch is set for 1 p.m. And that'll wrap up the night here from Pete Taylor Park. Reporting for WDAM, I'm Scott Kirk. All right, thanks, Scott. An important note from that win, Southern Miss clinches the number two seat in the Sun Belt Tournament next week. Let's go.